pathogenicity of malaria so pathogenicity of malaria if you take the pathogenicity of malaria sir there are three stages are there in the pathogenicity of malaria one is cold stage second one is heat stage or hot stage third one is sweat stage so cold stage is there hot stage is there and sweat stage is there so if you take the cold uh, stage they have shivering they have severe chilled so body is shivering severe chilled takes place during the cold stage body is very cool next hot stage hot stage the body temperature will be uh, enhanced increased and increased pulse rate increased breathing increased body temperature so body temperature may reach 1 104 106 degree centigrade okay 104 to 106 degree centigrade and uh, body temperature increased heart rate also increased pulse rate also increased then breathing rate also increased in the heart stage next one is sweating stage sweating stage means profused sweating comes from the body so this is called as sweat stage okay next so relapse malaria what is relapse malaria sir sometimes in some individuals macro metacryptozoids macro metacryptozoids so here macro metacryptozoids are remained in the liver cells sometimes these are called as hypnozoids what are these hypnozoids sometimes hypnozoids are remained in the sometimes hypnozoids are remained in the liver cells and uh, they reactivated and transforms into enters into the rbc and they continues golgi cycular erythrocytic schizogony they continues golgi cycular erythrocytic schizogony again that person will get the malaria that is called as relapse malaria that is called as relapse malaria sometimes hypnozoids like macro metacryptozoids remain in the liver cells and reactivated enters into the rbc and continues golgi cycle and causes malaria fever again so this is called as relapse malaria okay now next generally when the rbc are damaged uh, rbc are continuously produced from the spleen and enlargement of spleen takes place splenomegaly anemia splenomegaly are the symptoms of the this malaria okay now next let us see prophylaxis so prophylaxis or prevention prophylaxis prevention if you take the main drug is used for this the main drug used for this malaria is quinine what is that quinine so quinine is nothing but that is a drug produced from the quinine produced from the cinchona officinalis so cinchona officinalis so quinine is used against the malaria okay sir here if you are able to escape from the mosquito bite we can prevent uh, malaria for example if you are able to escape from the mosquito bite then we, we will not get any malaria so that is why we have to spray ddt and bhc sir ddt means dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane that is the spray and bhc benzene hexachloride these two sprays are generally used for the spraying for the killing of adult mosquitoes if these uh, two if we spray the adult mosquitoes will be died that is one thing so next thing is spraying of kerosene and uh, pyrethrum so spraying of kerosene and pyrethrum will kill the larva so whenever the stagnated water is there so if we spray the kerosene as well as pyrethrum so these will form a layer which prevents the oxygen supply due to the suffocation problem the larval stages will be died so by the kerosene pyrethrum we can control larva by spraying ddt bhc we can control adult and uh, using of if you take using of mosquito coils mosquito repellents 
mosquito nets also will help us to escape from the mosquito bite so mosquito nets uses mosquito repellents and mosquito coils will uh, help us mosquito coils mosquito nets mosquito repellents will help us from the mosquito bite okay and some recent days we have some creams which can apply to the skin okay so odomas like creams also can uh, avoid the mosquito bite so if we apply the odomas so the mosquitoes will not bite the individual so this is one thing next if you take biological control of mosquitoes and larvae and if we grow gambusia fish sorry gambusia fish so when the gambusia fish is grown so gambusia fish is called as so gambusia is a larvivorous fish gambusia is a larvivorous fish in stagnated water in drainages if you grow gambusia gambusia will eat the larval stages of mosquito anaphilis mosquito then we can control the population of the mosquitoes next insectivorous plant is also there what is that utricularia so what is that uh, in insectivorous plant utricularia so utricularia also can eat can kill the mosquitoes adult mosquitoes by that we can escape from the mosquito bite so this, this, these are all pro prophylaxis and prevention sir quinine is used for the uh, malaria treatment and for the control of adult mosquitoes dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane benzene hexachloride should be sprayed so that will kill the adult mosquitoes kerosene pyrethrum should be sprayed on the stagnated water constant water so what that larva can be killed and uh, use of mosquito coils nets repellents will uh, protect us from the mosquito bite and uh, if you take biological control gambusia fish is a larvivorous fish what is that fish larvivorous fish so that will kill all the larvae of gambusia utricularia is insectivorous plant which can kill the insects so with this we can control mal malaria and main thing is we have to remove we should not allow any water for the stagnation so especially in the coolers and if you take buckets unused tires so different types of uh, even though flower vessels so tires flower vessels and boxes tubs coolers so we have to kill uh, keep uh, clean for every week because the mosquitoes will lay the eggs in that stagnated water so if you are uh, if you are not keeping any stagnated water so we can escape from the malaria disease so this is the life cycle of plasmodium vivax in the man and mosquito